Well, this is exciting. We have our first look at Robert Pattinson as Batman in the upcoming movie directed by Matt Reeves coming out next year, The Batman. Nice outfit. Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn, I think I got it right, gets a new title. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we got our first look at Robert Pattinson in the bat suit, and I have to say, it looks pretty good. I like the look of it. Uh, some people are comparing it to uh, Daredevil from the Netflix show, which I agree, kind of does look like that. I like the emblem on his chest, the bat emblem. Uh, there's already rumors going around that that's pieces of the gun that shot his parents, so that's interesting. I like the whole intro, the video they showed, the, the music and the soundtrack. Very cool. I'm very curious to see if they're going to use the same soundtrack in the movie, but I liked what I saw. I think my only concern is um, when and where this takes place. I'm still confused as to if this is really a part of the DCEU. I mean, is this supposed to be Ben Affleck's Batman younger? I, I still haven't really heard, you know, concrete confirmation as to if this is a separate universe. I have all the confidence that Robert Pattinson is going to do great in this role, but I still feel that he still has this young look about him, you know? That could all change once I see the trailer and, and the movie. Remember, I'm still a very big fan of Ben Affleck's Batman. I still think he is the most comic book accurate Batman we've ever had on screen, so it's kind of hard for me to let go of that. But I'm pretty sure Robert Pattinson's going to do a great job. Not to mention the cast and crew behind this movie. I mean, it's top-notch talent. I mean, you have Matt Reeves directing. You have Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle and Catwoman. You have Colin Farrell as Penguin. You have Paul Dano as the Riddler. Andy Serkis as Alfred. I mean, this is uh, really shaping up to be something really, really interesting. And I, I really can't wait for it to come out. And uh, yeah. It looks great. I'm very excited. Birds of Prey premiered last week, starring Margaret Robbie, and it didn't do so well. Uh, they were projecting that it would make about 50 million opening weekend, and it went way below. It actually made about 33 million, so that was disappointing for the studios. So they decided to change the title of the movie to From the Birds of Prey, the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, to Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. And I think that's completely stupid. Not that the new title is stupid. Uh, actually, I think that's the title it should have been. But at, at this point, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's too little too late. I don't think the title of the movie was the problem. It was the marketing. I'm sorry, it was the marketing. I wasn't that excited to see this movie. I saw it last week and I actually liked it. I was shocked. I didn't think it was amazing, but it was quite enjoyable. I think everyone did good uh, for what it was, and they made really good use of the rated R uh, rating for this movie. It was it was actually very entertaining. But the problem is, uh, Warner Brothers just didn't know how to market this movie, and that's why it, it failed opening weekend. When I first saw the trailer to this movie, I was like, what is this? I'm not even sure what this is about. This looks like a complete mess. Um, from what I understand, the Birds of Prey and Harley Quinn really have nothing to do with each other. Um, and for them to be in this movie, and it, it, it just, it, it was very confusing as to what this movie was about. Also, it's rated R. So that's definitely going to put off a lot of uh, parents taking their kids to see this movie, even though it is a superhero movie. Not that it's a bad thing that it's rated R, but you have to market this movie. I mean, Harley Quinn is not as popular as Wonder Woman. So you have to market this movie a lot better. Deadpool. Deadpool is rated R. And I'm not, I'm not going to say Deadpool's most popular character. But Ryan Reynolds and his team, they, they all marketed the shit out of that movie. And people went to go see it. They just they didn't do that well with this movie at all. So no, I don't think the name change is going to help. I think at this point, uh, the movie's going to live or die by word of mouth. And I don't think changing the movie, or the title of this movie, is going to do anything, honestly. So what did you guys think of the new Batsuit? And did you think it was smart to change the title to the Birds of Prey movie? Uh, do you think it was a good strategic move? Uh, 
comment below let me know your thoughts and uh if you like this video please like share and subscribe and i will be back